What's going on guys when I banded back again with yet another video talking about more Dragon Ball Fighters and basically I just want to correct my video from the other day where I basically was talking about the Fighters World Tour Tournament and basically yesterday my dumbass thought that CET, CET stood for Central Time where honestly it, I mean it does it just stands for Central European Time because I forgot the World Tour was going to be happening in Paris. So basically to account for the time that I told you guys that was wrong, which is only an hour and two hour different from, you know, Eastern and Western time. Basically, you want to take the times from the world tour and then for Eastern people, you want to do six hours. So let's say the let's say it, the uh, tournament started at three um three o'clock a.m. then over here you know it would be 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and then of course you know do the math for Western Time and then, of course for Central Time it's just like an hour difference between Eastern Time so um, instead of 9 it'd be like 8 o'clock or something like that but yeah basically these times are going to be super early at some points during the day and and decently late for other times during the day because like I said, Paris is it's all the way over there on the European side. So um, basically, this tournament is going to be super dope. You know, we are going to be seeing the most ridiculous Dragon Ball fighters we have seen yet. Everybody is literally, I'm not going to say at their peak, but everybody is going to be so powerful within this tournament. And everybody is be going to be going for blood. Um, if you guys didn't know... Um, LCQs will be happening at this tournament and basically LCQs what they are is it's called last chance qualifier and essentially uh, those people are going to be trying to qualify for top 16 or top 8 if I'm not mistaken um, basically whoever it's like 250 people and only one person is getting out of that last chance qualifier so there's basically a tournament for the tournament to see who gets into the top 16 um, to to fight basically for top number one of everybody and like I said it's just gonna be a dog fight essentially again we're gonna be seeing the best Dragon Ball fighters that we have ever seen like everybody is going to be at the top of their game and if they're not then it's going to be a sad day for them but I can imagine that that we will be seeing the most disgusting gameplay that we have ever seen um, and on top of that of course uh, the big elephant in the in the room is will we be getting a UI Goku trailer and the answer to that is most likely uh, if you also didn't know most of these type of tournaments announce something big especially if it's a tournament like this which is the last tournament for like all of the Dragon Ball Fighters season so basically um, this world tour will most likely announce UI Goku. They do have a special announcement um, in line for the end of the tournament. And just like last year's world tour, uh, we ended up getting the reveal for, I believe, you know, uh, Videl and Jiren. And then, of course, season two dropped shortly after that. So it'll be the exact same thing this time around, most likely. We will get um, the UI Goku trailer, and then, of course, season, the Season 3 patch will drop most likely a couple of days after that or a month or whatever. It doesn't... It's just... It just it's all it's all chance, pretty much. But I can only imagine that we will be getting UI Goku during the... During that week, so the 13th, which is a Thursday, or the 20th, which is a Thursday, um... Most of the time, or all the times, I've looked back at it, all DLC characters have dropped on a Thursday. So most likely, we will be getting UI Goku that week. So the 13th or the 20th. And if they really want to push it, they can give it to us on the 27th. And I don't think we'll be getting UI Goku in March. I definitely feel like we'll be getting him in February. It seems like Broly has actually been out a decent amount of time, Like when you really think about it. He came all the way out in November. And... Here we are, right? Like we are, we are all the way in February now. It's just crazy to think about how long Dragon Ball Super Broly has already been out, and he's been the last. He's the last DLC character for season two. And I, I want to know if you guys are still enjoying Broly. Have you dropped him? Have, are you still playing him? Do you still like him? Do, do you find him annoying to fight? Stuff like that. Just let me know down in the comment section below, and also just let me know how excited you are for the World Tournament to begin, or the World Tour Tournament to begin, because I know I'm hella hyped. Um, it's crazy that actually the tournament will be starting at 3 a.m. Eastern time, like 
the last chance qualifiers will be starting at 3 a.m. basically tonight. So, and obviously, you know, that's Saturday over there, and it's technically Saturday here, but you know, if you're if you're still awake, it's still the same day for us, you know. So 3 a.m. tonight is going to be starting. Sadly, I have to work, so I won't be able to watch like a majority of the LCQs, but I'll definitely be able to catch eight, which is. Or I will definitely be able to catch top eight on Sunday, which will be a morning showing. So be careful. You wanna you wanna be able to watch that as well. Uh, there's just so much that we have like to think about. Like this game is going to hopefully put itself in a new bracket when it comes to season three, and I'm just really excited for that. So basically, guys, just let me know how excited you are for everything. Um, who do you think will win the world tour um, when it all comes down to it? Do you think Goichi, Sonic Fox, do you think it's going to be a sleeper like Wawa or Finrich? Do you think it's going to be somebody from the LCQs? There's so many good players that are going to be entering this tournament. And I don't think you really want to miss it. Especially if you are one of the people that like to just watch Dragon Ball Fighters and try to retain the information that you see. Because there's going to be a lot of good stuff in there. And I'm super excited for it. So basically, yeah, guys. Anyways, I'm sorry for the other video where I got the times wrong. But yeah, just again, I just want to reiterate that if you are looking at the day one um last chance qualifier thing just 9 a.m it starts in in uh japan so you know just count up to count up six hours and that's when it'll be for us and count back uh nine or count up nine hours for those of you that are in um that are in in uh the the west the western hemisphere basically so yeah so Anyways, guys, again, if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Please remember that God and anime are always on your side. That's all I got for y'all. Peace out.